also express my sorrow on the loss that y'all had at the square a few weeks ago. That's just a doggone shame. It was tough. My daughter was down on the square 10 minutes before it happened taking Christmas pictures, but life sometimes kicks us in the teeth and we can not answer why or who or what, but I'm very sorry for that happened, particularly in Fayetteville and what a great town, what a great town. The game itself, uh, we shot the heck out of the three ball early against their zone. We knew it would be zone. He switched a man in the second half and he executed his man better than we ran our man offense in the third quarter. We turned it over seven times, I believe in the second half, only four in the first half, but five of them were in that third quarter. And that was just carelessness on our part and taking things for granted. But folks, this was a hard game for Mike or I to coach. Neither one of us was looking forward to it. Uh, we finished the season last year at my place on the last game when Kennedy broke her pinky and didn't get to play in the tournament. And then they ran out 17 to 0 in the SEC tournament. So. We really respect what Arkansas does. But what we do, we always try to have four kids in double figures. No matter how many Kennedy gets, we got to have four. In the first half, we were seven out of 10 in the paint and six out of 11 or something like that in the second half and got hammered a few times in the second half. But I'm sure Mike could say the same thing. But I thought we played an IQ game. When you have an IQ game and both teams, uh, nine turnovers, 11 turnovers, that was good basketball. That's why there was 4,000 or whatever you had in the stands. They're going to come back because of the way the game was played. Mike is a top 25 team, and he'll be in the NCAA tournament. And I'm glad I'm only playing him once this year because I'm playing the top seven teams in the league all on the road. Every single one of them, I've got to go to their place. But my schedule prepared us for this. We were ninth in RPI, not because of 12th and one. We have faced every combination, every triangle and two, every box and one, everything in the world. We've overcome adversity on good games and bad games by certain kids. and. We found a way. Questions? Did you handle it like this? Coach. What did y'all do on Dungey, especially the first half, to, to keep her? Sometimes it's not what we did, it's what Dungey didn't do. Because I'm sure she got an earful at half, and, I, and I'm sure Mike said, play like an All-American, because she's that good. Second half, she played like an All-American. She was strong on finishing. It doesn't take her long to get that shot off. They hurt us on the pick and roll. They hurt us on a lot of it. We were basically in a matchup zone, the main part of the game. Dungey's just that good. And when toll free gets hot, you just got to hope that she's out for a while or Ramirez gets that hot, but you're never going to shut down all three of them. And I thought we spread it out pretty good among there's three. Don't worry, he's got help coming. Next year, he'll probably be a top 15 team to start the year because that's how good they're going to be next year. Yes, sir. How about uh, Johnson and, uh, and Jones? They were, I mean, 33 points and 24 rebounds between them. That's, that's quite a night. Well, y'all didn't have the size. You had a four guard off a defensive team. And we eventually, we should have scored a couple more, particularly in the third quarter. We ran a little slip play, and she missed the bunny. But uh, you got to remember, uh, I wasn't able, let's just say I wasn't able to give Wilson as many looks as I wanted to. She got into early two fouls. Wilson has been so, she has killed it the last three ball games for us, and I feel guilty because she had all her relatives over here from Oklahoma, but Carter and Wells were playing so good. Difference in the ball game for you stat lovers. 
a point guard, eight assists to one turnover, five rebounds, four out of six from the line. You always put down who scored the most, who directed the most. My teams are built on point guards, as you know, from Christy Smith and Amy Wright. And this little kid has done a great job. She's the one that came in for Wilson when Wilson blew her ACL last year. And now we can't get her out of the lineup. Wilson will get her minutes. Uh, I wish it would have been more in this game. Question. I think it was a four-point game, Gary. Arkansas came out of a timeout, uh, toll-free drives, doesn't hit the rim. Do you remember what you did defensively on that? No, we, we didn't try to give up the drive. I think we contested, <laughs> rotated over. I thought it was a two-point game. They shot to tie it, didn't they? Yeah. They shot to tie it as a two-point ball game. And uh, the shot that Dungey missed at the end on the drive and toll free shot, those were probably the two biggest misses he'd love to have back. Maybe they weren't used to shooting so close because they, they made everything else from the outside. I said before the game started, looking at the SEC schedule, this was by far the best game because I knew South Carolina would take care of Kentucky at home. So we're going to try. All right, my assistant just gave me the, the cut sign. I've, we got to get on a plane and get back. But appreciate all you guys. Keep writing a good word. And I read the Democrat all the time. <laughs> I, I really do. Appreciate y'all. Somebody buy one for Nate tonight. Yeah. <laughs>